I must say that these two stations, Rosmead and Scumbi, were very interesting stops. I'm really glad we turned off to go and explore them and share them with you. The first bit of a sighting of Stainsburg. Look at this, Stainsburg. They're busy working on the roads and the sidewalks and everything here. Yes. The Eastern Cape is actively working on improving the infrastructure. This bridge, 1956. Okay. Louis van der Walt bridge. So they're doing the curbs yet too, like they are in Middleburg. Yeah. It's probably the same municipality. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. There's a filling station. All right. The we'll come back to that now. Yeah, I want to put in petrol. Now this is the station here in Stainsburg. The girl at the filling station says it was such a beautiful station. Oh, you see they've even built up the windows and yeah. the doors. Wow. Look at this, must have been a stunning building in its day, eh? Still is stunning. Yeah. No trains coming by here anymore. Not anymore. I wonder what that was. It saw something to do with the railway. Must have something to do with the railway. Oh. Railway houses. Oh. How pretty was this building, eh? Okay, Steinberg Station. Gotta love the goats in town. Yeah. <laughs> Eating the leftovers. Yep. So yes, President Street. An interesting story about President. President Paul Kruger used to live on a farm called Bullock just outside Stainsburg and apparently the house that he lived in is still there. Is it accessible to the public? I can't find out. And this is the city hall apparently. Uh, the town hall. The magistrate's office. Uh, oh, okay. 1907. Is that still occupied? Oh, the clock, the clock is definitely not functional, and uh, you can see that it was built in 1907. I think this is the town hall, eh? Could be. I'm not sure. What but makes you say that? The girl at the filling station explained. Oh, that. did she say it's oh. this? Oh, okay. Oh, 
thought we'd be able to get closer. You did. So I wonder what they're using for a town hall now. Oh, it's... Well, they probably don't have one. They don't have one anymore, it looks like. See the windows are broken around. Yeah, there. I was wondering if you're careful, you can go point your camera in. Yeah. Can't see anything. Wow, what a big church. Big church, eh? Wow. Nineteen oh eight, nineteen oh five. Really? Yeah. Nineteen oh five. Looking at this now, that, that 1905 cornerstone, I think that was the original church that was built. And if you look at the foundations at the bottom here, that is the original. Look original. original. Yes. But the top part there, above that 1905 uh, cornerstone, is 1967, a plaque over there. And I think the brickwork was done in 1967. They must have demolished the old building and just put this new one up. Or the newer one up. Interesting, eh? Small bricks. Are they individual bricks? Yes, individual bricks. Look at the incredible brickwork then. Incredibly neat. I mean... Look above the door there. Yeah, tiny bricks. That's, that's workmanship for you, eh? Yeah, no, absolutely. Very nice. And look at the stonework around the door. Yeah, brilliant. Look at that ornate door. Yeah, beautiful, eh? Hey? 1872. 1972 was the centenary celebration. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Now I'm thinking that picture of the church over there that might be the original church and that's what it might what it might have looked like in the beginning in 1872 might be I have got no idea I'm just surmising Cute houses, yeah. Look at this. Wow. Interesting steeple, huh? Hey? Telling you. Massive steeple. Not high, but big. <laughs> You're bulky. This is the Dutch Reformed. Look at the stained glass, eh? Beautiful. This is huge. Here's the plaque. Reverend Malarba. Okay. And yes, sir. 9 July 1910. Check out this pretty house. Gorgeous, I love it. Yeah, it's a stunning house. Love the black roof. 
and the white black, black shutters yeah. love it I think this was a church at some point yeah it appears to be a residence it looks like it eh not sure I think so I saw something at the top here which I'd like to go and investigate. All right. Yes, wash is dash. Wow. It's a sprawling building. Yeah. Why does it Do look like a school? It? Yeah, it actually does. Definitely is a school. Yes, any large school. Okay. So it's a primary school. And it's break time. Yeah. All the kids are having sports. Yep, it's not a museum no more, I don't think. Shows you that once upon a time people tried. Yeah. Oh Look no. Look at this. What? Oh no. 1912. Methodist Church. Methodist Church. Wow. Oh no, that one's even clearing yeah. bushes and growth there. How is this church? This is the bell in memory of Katharina Elizabeth Cherry, 27, 8, 1902, 97, 1955. Old fancy downpipe brackets. Something in the distance there that you spotted that you said I must come and explore. Yeah, it looks pretty. Investigate. to look for gravel roads if you can drive in Stansburg. Yep, that's for sure.
Eastern Cape something there. Yeah, I see that. Traffic station. Okay. That's quite a neat building. Very neat, eh? Impressive. Yes. Unexpected. Very unexpected. Okay, and look what we've uncovered. What is this? Yeah. Oh. Oh, some pretty building. Definitely. I wonder what this is. Oh. Ask that lady. Good oak. We can get an answer. So this is called the Paul Kruger College of some sort, yeah, Skills College. Yeah, she doesn't know the full name, but she ah. says they teach plumbing and carpentry. Mm, building and stuff, yeah. Building skills and then next to that was the hostel. Okay. Interesting. I would like just to go if you would go back down there, can we get back to that road we came up? Looks like some park over here. It does. And like dry places. Dry spots, yeah. Is it, this is the, caravan, this the caravan this park. This is the caravan park. This is the caravan park. Okay, well, there's zero left of it. Zero. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so nothing. these were the camping spots. And this was the ablution facilities, most likely. Oh, wow. It must have been a beautiful place, eh? I remember you spoke about a caravan yes, park. Yes, this was the caravan park. Well, I suppose no one came here anymore. Yeah. Okay, and here's the end of town. This is the end of town, it looks like, yeah. Okay. Look I at think this. this was the Totally abandoned this one too. Yeah. Eh? And quite big. Yep. I think we've seen Stainsburg. Stainsburg. I told you earlier that uh, President Paul Kruger stayed at on a farm out at Bulluk and his house is still there. But this is just outside of Stainsburg and this is by the turn off to Bulluk and there are these two pyramids being built with stones here. And this one is the commemoration of the 150th celebration of the Great Trek with a report that I just score. They did this in 1988. And there at the back is the one that they did in 1938. Celebration of the 100th year of the Great Trek. 1838 to 1938. Incredible. What an interesting stop that was there by the memorial sites. That was two monuments, pyramids that were put up there by the Report Reyer's Corps in 1988, celebrating the 150th year of the Great Trek. Okay. And the other pyramid was celebrating the 100th year of the Great Trek from 1838 to 1938. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that was it for Stainsburg.